Now, Central Oregon's local alert weather with Max Goldwasser. Good evening, Central Oregon. I hope everyone's been enjoying their Saturday so far. Pretty good weather to enjoy. Mostly clear skies, temperatures a few degrees above average. This should stay this way for the next 24 hours at least before our new system is starting to roll into the region. You don't quite see it yet on our satellite and radar, but we'll turn to our future track to show you it's been brewing off the coast. It'll start to make its way into the state of Oregon around 10 p.m. is when it hits the Oregon coast, and then it'll almost slowly move from west to east across the state. The earliest it will the, around this time that we'll start to see some rain and snow here in Central Oregon will be about 4 to 5 a.m. That's when those conditions will pick up, of course, starting in the Cascades and then hitting us here in town. Around that time, snow is going to be likely in Lapine. Rain is going to be likely in Sisters. Also, Sun River expecting to see some snow. For the rest of us, about a 30 to 40 percent chance to see rain or snow starting around 4 or 5 a.m. And those conditions last until about 10 a.m. After 10 a.m., no more snow is expected, but we still might to see at least a couple more hours of rain showers uh, for, uh, for the rest of the day on Monday until we get to the early afternoon. And then you see mostly clear skies for a bit. Things start to open up by the evening, and then they stay fairly open. No more rain is expected after Monday here in Central Oregon. Wind speeds in the meantime will stay fairly calm as well until we get to late Sunday, early Monday around the same time, of course, that that system makes its way into Central Oregon. Here we are at 6 a.m. Monday morning. Again, that's the same time that you saw it finally start to hit the Cascades, having an effect on us here in town. 15 in Prineville, 18 in Bend. You even see it out here along the Cascades. That yellow to orange color would indicate possibilities of 30 plus mile an hour winds in that area. In town, we could have gusts up around 25 miles an hour. In fact, sustained winds around 8 a.m. just a couple hours later and Ben could be up around 20 miles an hour, staying strong for just a bit after that. But then by Monday evening, those taper off and become calm once again here in Central Oregon. Forecast lows for tonight in the 20s for most of us. Lapine, though, bottoming out at 14. And as we've been mentioning all week, Lapine, you should expect to see some patchy freezing fog every night for the rest of your extended forecast as your forecast lows will be in the teens or lower for the foreseeable future. Forecast highs for tomorrow, similar to today until we get to that point. This is the road conditions. Uh, just to, re to remind you, if you are going to be driving on the road in Lapine, be aware of that patchy freezing fog fog, not just tonight, but every night for the next seven days. Here are your forecast highs scattered in the 40s. Once again, a few degrees above average for this time of year. We stay in the 40s after that for the rest of your extended forecast. And as I mentioned, after Monday, we should be staying dry here on the high desert. That's been a look at your weather. And for the first time this year, let's take a look at your snow report. <music> 